Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Maximus Black here with another solo cast on the solo channel. Let me introduce those players. Starting over here in the right position, we have... And up top here, we have Smokey. Some of you guys might might have gotten that. Some of you might not have gotten it. His name's Silent, okay? I was I was acting out the Silent. Don't be hating, all right? So this is actually going to be a TVT here on Shattered Temple. And, uh, well, I was going through the emails at the uh, castmygame at gmail.com. And it said this was an epic game in the title. And usually, I'm not going to lie, guys, 9 times out of 10, actually 99 times out of 100, epic to people is like a turtle fest for 20 minutes, sitting there, one big attack, and that's it. So let's hope that this game is actually epic. If not, whoever sent this game in loses all credibility, and you will never get casted again. I'm just joking. I'll still love you. I'll still love you. So, it looks like Blue is going to scout out Smokey. And it looks like Smokey is about to uh, scout out Silent. And holy, what? We actually have a proxy Rax going down here for Silent. And still a Rax going down here at the choke. Which, you know, is pretty good and smart. I, I, I don't think Smokey is really going to know anything or su su suspect anything. Man, I can't talk this morning. I don't know what's going on. Um, because this just really seems like a typical opening. I mean, look at his opening. It's very similar to this. Uh, but what he doesn't know is the amount of SCVs that Silent has. He only has 12, and Smokey has 15. So that right there would, uh, would let you know. But usually in lower league games, they don't really think about counting SCVs or clicking on... Um, you know, a refinery to see how much gas is mined out. Because those are big, big tells. I can let you know, like, wait a second. He only has 13 SCVs. He has no other structures. What's going on here? There's got to be something fishy going on. And uh, that's something that a lot of lower league uh, players will learn as they, you know, get higher and higher in the leagues. It's scouting is more than just bringing in an SCV and seeing what they got. It's analyzing what they have and almost predicting their builds and I mean it's it's especially easier when you are the race that you're playing because you know what you should and shouldn't have at that point in the game and whoa holy tits looks like we're gonna see an all in here he's gonna take every single SCV he's got two Marines we've got two more Marines and an SCV and a few more Marines that are queued up here uh, for silence so it looks like we're gonna see some sort of Marine SCV all in it's a it's a it's a weird one but weird timings are usually the best timings because you're not expecting it. There is no bunker down. He does have a factory in production. There's the bunker finally. The question is, is he going to be able to break this wall? He needs to get some SCVs over here to start repairing. And he's not doing that. So this supply depot is going to go down at the same time. It's going to supply block him as well. He's not going to be able to build any more units except for the ones uh, that are already in production. And he's actually going to fly over Rax and put it right down into his base. Oh, that's very not manner like And he's just melting. Oh, these SCVs aren't even attacking. And it looks like that's going to be game. Yeah, GG. Uh, four silent. Or four smoky. Two silent. Oh, we managed to get a marine in a bunker. But still, he can sit back here and just kill off basically everything. Uh, OP Mule is activated. One OP Mule not even getting minerals. We do have a Mule over here collecting minerals. Still streaming in some Marines. Oh, there's one Hellion out on the field. And that could be crucial. Do not line up those Marines, for God's sakes. Do not line them up. Two Marines go down that quick. And he's forced to back off. Wow, I think Smokey was, uh, oh, and he's going to come out here and repair. And this barracks now going to float his way over to see what the hell is going on. I think Smokey was uh, saying out a, a GG to make his opponent think that, you know, he was done. Had enough time to get up that, uh, that bunker. Got a Marine in there, although it's not the bestly 
place bunker. I think at this point he's better off salvaging that bunker and then getting some more SCVs. I really don't think that that's going to do him any good uh, in that area at this stage in the game. Um, it might have created a little bit of fear in Smokey's eyes to not try to engage over this way, but that's about as much as it's going to do. That one Hellion, though, the saving grace here in this game thus far, uh, he managed to get that out, and of course... You know, those Marines, if used correctly, can kill it, but, you know, this Hellion can do a little bit of kiting, and it's a very, very scary thing. So it looks like we're going to be uh, back at square square one. Uh, six SCVs to five SCVs, one mule to two. So the income is relatively even at this point, only about 100 more minerals a minute, uh, depending on when those mules are dying and when they're activated. So, uh, yeah, very, very even. Uh, much better wall off, much better positioning here for Silent than uh, what Smokey has going on. He does have a reactor, finally going to salvage that bunker. Very, very nice. I like that. Got that factory floating around. It looks like he's actually going to switch the techs here. Going to put that factory down on that ref uh, reactor. And uh, he's going to start maybe double pumping Hellions. I mean, that's really all he can do at that point. Got that one Hellion down there in place. I don't know what information he's got here. He does not know that uh, the bunker is down. He's going to find that out here in just a second. That does not want to lose that alien. No, that was close. Wow. So it looks like we've got a uh, relatively even game. Supplies are very, very uh, the same. It's really funny because we're nine and a half minutes in just about. And uh, wow, we've got 18 supply up for both players. We've got quite a bit of tech in the base of Smokey. But really, that's about it. Doesn't have the SCVs really to continue production on all of it, although he is sitting on quite a few minerals just because he's been supply blocked, and those mules are definitely doing their job. Now bringing down an SCV here, I think it would be pretty epic if Smokey could come back and win this game after basically losing. I mean, he lost almost all of his SCVs. Silent had a bunch of Marines in his base. <sighs> uh, wow. Going to throw down a Rax, and he's going to return the favor with a proxy Rax of his own. I'd actually like to see him lift off, you know, a Rax here or even a factory and just start double pumping Hellions because uh, I, I, I honestly think that Silent isn't really going to scout his base. He's, he's quite worried about his choke here and for good reason. Uh, Silent has no idea that this is out here. We got quite a bit of Hellions. We got four Hellions. And uh, let me just go to the uh, Unis tab real quick. Five Hellions, seven Marines versus just 11 Marines, but that one bunker... It's going to do some damage here. Um, hopefully, Silent will bring down some SCVs to start repairing, unlike Smokey did over here at the ramp. And I honestly think if Smokey would have, you know, brought down some SCVs to repair, he would have been in a much better position. And he might not have taken as much damage, you know, that was dealt to him. I mean, you're a Terran. You can wall up a Marine SCV, sure. But if you have enough Marines in one bunker and some SCVs to repair, you should be able to... Uh, should be able to hold that stuff off, but here we go, and very, very smartly going to use this Rax as a way of getting vision. Needs to watch it, though, because that Rax is going to fall if he uh, keeps that around there too long. And I think it's going to actually be Hugh. Oh, you better watch out for those Hellions. There is five Hellions down there, and if they can get off a, a really good attack against these Marines, it will toast them up very quickly. It's going to start focus firing on this Rax, and if this Barracks goes down... He's going to be left to one Rax to produce all of the uh, army unless he builds a couple more. And at this stage in the game, I don't think he's got the time to do it. Whoa, really needs to watch it. Really needs to watch it. Wow, that is a huge army of Smokey. Those units are starting to pile up. And he's actually going to lose this barracks any second now. Why don't you just go in there and finish it? Come on. Uh-oh. Silent now bringing over a couple of SCVs to maybe start repairing. And he's actually going to keep it alive. I actually feel as though Smokey could have uh, engaged there a little bit more and have taken out that barracks a lot quicker. Really needs to watch those Marines. They're getting toasted and stems into it, you fool. Why would you do that? Just sacrificed all of his units, and now this barracks is going to go down. You know, patience is a virtue at this point, and Smokey really playing it smart. Had a couple of opportunities to do a lot of damage, but decided to back off and wait for his opponent to make the mistake because uh, Silent's been making mistakes all game. And I think him picking up StarCraft might have been a little bit of a mistake. Oh! 
No, no, he did pretty good. That that rush at the beginning was good, um, but he, he did shit the bed pretty badly, and I think Smokey is just uh, just returning the favor at this point now, bringing a couple of SCVs down here to repair um, his scouting racks. He's going to have high ground vision. It's just not enough Marines, just not enough. Just take it out. He actually has enough to uh, manpower his way in here. He's going to be able to take out this barracks, or uh, this bunker, sorry, very quickly. Stimming once again. And that wasn't too bad of a stim, but, uh, you know, he's just outnumbered, really. And I don't know why Smokey just doesn't go right into the base here of Silent and take him out. Oh, no, do not run down this ramp with those SCVs, because that's a bad position for you. Oh, whoa, Smokey, what are you doing, brother? You're not attacking, you're just running. But those SCVs, oh, meat grinder. Wow, bow player is shitting the bed just a little bit there, and I actually think Silent came on top. Got a, got, whoa, I didn't even see this. He's got four more racks. He bought himself some time. I am eating my words right now, but I, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to have enough time to uh, to get up the army. If Smokey needs to move, he needs to move in there right now. He needs to go in there right now. There's five barracks in here producing Marines. It's going to be close. He needs to get the SCVs off the line as well. He does not want to engage with just these Marines. These two Hellions in the front going to be able to toast a lot of these Marines. It's going to be extremely close. And look at that. A bunker going down. A manor bunker. Oh. GG. GG. Just too many Hellions. Way too many Hellions. Yeah. No SCVs. Back to, yeah. And he left the game. Wow, that was a pretty exciting uh, TVT, I must say so myself. Very, very high action since the beginning. You don't see that often in TVT. I got to hand it to both players. Both players playing reasonably well. Some mistakes on both ends, but at the uh, you know it's one of those things where there's just enough mistakes by each player to make it really exciting. This is Maximus Black here with another solo cast on the solo channel. If you guys want to get your games casted, in the description below is where you send them. Thanks for rating, subscribing. I'll see you guys pretty soon. Peace out.